I'm trying to make an inventory. Entire cargo gone astray? It's Ernst, Mrs. Robinson. He has asked me to marry him. I have left the Robinsons. Ben tells me your husband's up for murder, Mrs. Robinson. They're gonna get him off or what? Did you believe the man to be dead or not? Yes. We've got to find him. But Billy! I put money in your pocket so that you can at least leave as a gentleman. The day of reckoning is here, Mrs. Robinson. Objection! The day of reckoning is here. To that man, you'd think we're a family of cutthroat pirates. Who does this William Vester think he is? He's only doing what he's been paid to do. Slander the innocent? Fine profession, I must say. And what of Mr. Cooper, our excellent defense attorney? What does he have to say in our defense? Objection. To no avail whatsoever. Has anybody seen Christina? Bessie said she went off with Bruno. <sighs> we should never have come back. When we left the island, we were happy and strong. Now look at us. Billy is gone. Now Emily. Who will be next? You're forgetting. Emily didn't leave because of Boston. She left because of me. You mustn't blame yourself, Ernst. Unless it's a crime these days to love someone. until the storm passes. The cook said this would help you sleep. Oh, Joanna. Ernst, where is she? We'll find her. She's lived on the island. She'll be all right. Have you told Papa she's missing? I couldn't. He needs all his strength for the trial. Mr. Robinson, you have heard the prosecution allege that you did callously and deliberately murder Seth Parsons. Is this true? No. Furthermore, having murdered him, you left his body lying there and fled to a desert island where you hid for a period of 20 months from justice. Is this an accurate description of events? No, it is not. Everybody is out looking for her. You they will find her. In your own words, what transpired? The storm was at its height. The topmast was down, and the ship was listing badly. What was that, Papa? I don't know. I hurried back to our cabin, where I found Seth Parsons manhandling my wife. She had discovered him trying to steal something from one of our trunks. I warned him off. And when he refused to unhand her, I struck him. Then what happened? Great deal of confusion. Oh, God save us! Abandoned ship! Eventually, the call came to abandon ship. We tried to leave the cabin, but we found that the door had been wedged shut with a piece of timber. Wedged deliberately? That I cannot say. Uh, go on. But we finally managed to smash through the cabin door. My son Ernst and I went topside, but we found that the crew had taken the longboat and left us completely alone. Fortunately, as it turned out, the ship had run aground. And when the storm abated, the island came into view. So, in fact, this island was your salvation and not a hiding place at all. That is correct. Is it not also true that um, far from hiding there, you came back at the first opportunity 
for the specific purpose of answering these charges and clearing your name. Yes, I did. But, with the court's permission, I no longer wish to refute the accusation that I killed Seth Parsons. Order! 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 Do you wish to change your plea? Your Honor, it is true that I did not intend to kill him. But over time, I have come to believe that that may be what happened. And I want to say before God that I regret the incident with all my heart. He isn't pleading guilty. Simply acknowledging the fact that Seth died doesn't make David his murderer. Mm. What about manslaughter, accidental killing? If they charge him with death, he might get off with 10 years hard labor. Father! Oh, yes, of course, I'm sorry. Forgive me, my dear. What happens now? All the evidence has been heard. We'll know tomorrow morning, one way or another. I'll be back. I just need to be alone. I need to think. Think about what? I've been lying to you, Joanna. What about? Whatever it is, we can talk about it. It's work. I knew it. You mean you're not settling in after settling all? Settling in? I'm the laughing stock of the whole place. Wherever I go, I hear sniggering. Why didn't you say? And add to your troubles. I'm no good, Joanna. Do you know, I couldn't even manage an inventory. Of what? Ship's cargo. I tell you, Joanna, if I weren't your husband, I'd been kicked out of here ten times by now. You may as well face it. You'll never be accepted in this town, not with me around. Well, maybe I don't want to be accepted. That's not true, and you know it. A woman like you deserves the very best. But you married beneath yourself, and now we're both paying the price. Ah, Ben. Miss Joanna. Sydney! Need a quiet word, Ben? That's okay, Sydney. Anything you have to say to me, you can say in front of Joanna. We have no secrets. Yeah, well. Uh... I believe you come for what's owing to you. Perhaps another time. No, Sydney. Now is the perfect time. Hey, Ben! You'll pay for this, Ben! Just see if you don't! You'll pay! It is not honor for a woman to propose to a man. I understand. Would it be more honorable if you were to ask me again? Yes. Very well, then. I'm ready. Will you... Will you be my wife? Yes. On one condition. Condition? What condition? that you have David Robinson released and the charges dropped. So, you look to trick me. You speak of honor, and all the time, you're planning to blackmail me. I'm giving you a choice, Wang Sen. Either drop the charges and go back to China with your new bride and honor satisfied, or leave Mr. Robinson to his fate and return alone in shame. Which will it be? Christina! I couldn't find Billy, Mama. I found her just over an hour ago. Don't worry, she's fine. Where's Ben? Oh, isn't he with you? What 
you doing here? I was about to ask you the same. Gentlemen of the jury, you heard the evidence in this case. You will now retire to consider your verdict. Court is adjourned. It's in God's hands now. When you sail? I don't know. They ain't saying. Why didn't you just go? Nobody'd see you. I could run. Go here too. Nah, I don't mind going, Ben. Ain't nothing for me in Boston anyhow. But what about you? There ain't nothing for me in Boston either. What about Joanna? It didn't work out, Billy. Gonna make a new start. Old Mr. Weiss has given me some money to go with. He's been good to me. I don't deserve it. And what did Joanna say? You have told her, ain't you, Ben? It's been good seeing you again, Billy. I wish you luck. The jury has already retired. Does this mean we're too late? I'll talk to Lester. There must be something he can do. I'll wait here. Oh, Emily? There's something I must know. Can't it wait? No, it cannot. <laughs> what is it? Do you care for me just a little? Or do you despise me for what I have done? Despise you? I couldn't marry a man I despised. You're a good man. The fact that you are doing this proves it. Emily. Ernst, I'm going to marry Monsey. Why? You wouldn't understand. No, I don't. So there was never any hope for me. You lied. I didn't lie. I was confused about the future. But now I see clearly. You can spend the rest of your life with Wong Sin. I'm sorry, Ernst. Yeah, I'm sorry too. It's too late. The jury is sitting. In my experience, Mr. Lester, it is never too late, provided the price is right. Not here. I tell you, the trial is over. And I'm telling you, Mr. Lester, that Robinson must be acquitted. After all, he is an innocent man. Be soon. If only I could be with him. Mama, Joanna, look! Billy, I knew you'd come back. Billy? No, I was to explain. Ben is at the jetty. He's about to sail. We must stop him. About to sail? What is it, Billy? What are you saying? I thought you knew, sir. Ben said... What, Billy? What did Ben say? That Mr. Weiss was... All right, so I did encourage him to go. But it was his own idea. He'll never make a clerk. He can barely read or write. Grandfather, you let him go without saying a word. I did it for your own good, Joanna, for both of you. Billy, take me to him. Ernst, you go with them. The ship will have sailed. No, oh, Elizabeth, I... Come along, Christina. Joanna? Ben! Listen to me, you've been tricked! Grandfather planned it all! 
didn't want it to drive you away. You didn't fail. It wasn't your fault. How could you even think of leaving me? So there you are, you little swab. Hey, where have you been? Let him go. But your honor... Mr. Lester, this case has been fairly conducted. The jury has reached a verdict. The matter is closed. I could make it worth you. What, Mr. Lester? Nothing, your honor. Sit down, Mr. Lester. The jury is returning. Defendant will stand. Gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Is the defendant, David Robinson, guilty or not guilty? Not Gentlemen of the jury, the court thanks you. You are now dismissed. Mr. Lester, a word of warning to you and your associates. Your attempts to subvert the course of justice in this case have not gone unnoticed and will, I assure you, be the subject of further investigation. Court is dismissed. We could hardly believe that at long last Father had cleared his name with the unexpected assistance of Wong San and Emily. There was to be yet another surprise in store from a Mr. Edmonds, who is destined to change the course of our lives as celebrations finally got underway. Is it really over, David? Yes, my dear, but do you know I actually began to think I might be guilty? I never thought it would be possible, but I, I'd stop believing in myself. We never doubted you for a moment. I know that. Papa! Oh, now, now, what's all this? I'm sorry. I nearly lost two loved ones in one day. I'll explain later. Mr. Robinson? Yes? I'm sorry to interrupt. My name is Edmonds. I work for the government. Is everything all right? Oh, please don't be alarmed. I bring good news. At least I hope you'll think it's good. Well, Mr. Edmonds, we were just uh, having some refreshment. Would you care to join us? You're very kind. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I know I should be here. It's any consolation, I know how it feels. You have your wish. And yet, you are not happy. I can see your heart is with Ernst Robinson. You would give away your life to protect his father. Love is strange. Please, everyone, gather around. I have an announcement to make. Mr. Edmonds has told us that he's been empowered by the government to put our little island on the map and begin a settlement there. That means a town, and a town means houses. And some of them may even be on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> but what a venture like this chiefly requires is settlers. So we'd like to extend an invitation. Any of you who would care to join us on our return to the island would be most welcome. <laughs> Thank you.
Ernst, are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. I'm very happy for you, Father. And we are happy for you, Ernst. Look who's here. Have you ever seen such a menagerie in all your life? The animals or the people? Both. I'm glad things have worked out, Father. So you have everything you need? And more. Courtesy of your grandfather. Ernst. Won't you change your mind and come with us? There's still time. Oh, there's so much work to be done. Emily has her studies, and I have my book. She'll make a fine wife. When the two of you get around to setting a date. Bye, Emily. God bless you. Yeah, well, don't worry, I'm working on it. Hold that sheet! Hold that sheet! Let's in land! My dear Ernst, I have so much to tell you. The Hawk is a fine ship, and we made good headway. The long journey passed almost without incident. Almost, but not quite. Excuse me, please. Ernst. Billy? Christina? You boy! What do you think you're doing? Please, sir, I thought he was someone I knew. It wasn't his fault, honestly. Please don't punish him. When land eventually hove into view, I don't mind telling you our hearts were in our mouths. We needed no chart to recognize our island. It was a proper homecoming. Our joy at seeing Billy on board soon turned to heartache when we realized that he would not be allowed to disembark with us. There is so much to do here, Ernst. We miss your strong back and your ready smile. We miss dear Emily's quiet determination and wish you both great happiness in all that you aspire to. I think they're far enough away. Which one is it? Not this one. Not this one. Over here. I think it's this one. With Billy reunited with the family and settlers on our island home, there was hope for the future. I often longed to return with Emily and settle permanently. But no matter what transpires, I will always fondly remember a period in our family's lives that was an extraordinary adventure. And I leave it to the reader to determine if the adventures of Swiss Family Robinson was perhaps the greatest adventure of all.